Am I recording? Okay. I'm going to keep this brief because I look terrible. Um, I got this blanket covering me because I did not have a bra on. I think you look cornbread. <laughs> you discussed this. But at any rate, get myself covered my blanket because it's cold. And this is my heating pad that I cannot live without. And I folded it because it helps my neck. My neck and my back have been giving me problems. But anyway, enough about me and all my problems. But um, I went to, uh, I'm decluttering myself, so I can't really um, keep a lot of things. But I did see some things at the library book sale that I had to get for some friends. And uh, um, I wish I had brought more <clears throat> cash, but really, I really uh, did a, did great. I spent four dollars, and um, so I got this. Um, one of my friends, you know, she's you know Christian and she loves you know scriptures and all that. So I got her this book. It's called A Simple Life. I don't know. Can you see that? And um, it's why by this lady Wanda Brunstetter, and um, got you know really neat quotes and things and I'm going to actually read it um because you know I'm simplifying but um it's just it's like a devotional if you're into that sort of thing so that's for Diane and I got one of um one of my friends also is into aprons she collects aprons and I remember watching this book when I was going through an apron um kind of kind of obsession <laughs> and uh oh by the way not that it matters this book all hardcover books are a dollar this is a almost brand new book i mean it's in very good shape and it goes i i did go and look on a lot of these prices on uh, ebay and amazon this book goes for about 17 dollars new and about 10 dollars used so i think we did a good job okay this one Back to the apron book is for Angela, and she's um you know very Christian also, um so she'll probably borrow that book from Diane and on the same street. But um they both live in Canada, so I'll have to either bring it to them personally or mail it. But this is a gorgeous book, and this was actually like I think it was on the bestseller list for quite a while, and um, it's got patterns and just vintage aprons just really a lot of history behind it isn't that gorgeous so this good shape and again this goes for and i'm tempted to keep it but i'm not this is for 17.95 in the u.s and can't and 19.95 for canada so the librarian wanted to sell this to me for 50 cents because it is a soft cover and i said you know what Keep the change, you know, like I got it like that. So a dollar I spent for this because the money's going to the library. So why be a freaking pig about it? Um, one of my subscribers, uh, I hope she PMs me so I can get this to her. Um, 500 quill block. She's a quilter and I got her this. She's always so sweet. She's always thumbs up my videos and encourages me and is very sweet. But this is for her. And if she's watching, I hope she makes sure she PMs me her um, phone number so we can talk and arrange for me to mail this to her. And this, um, I found uh, this, again, I don't think this has ever been used. I mean, it's in mint condition. And again, I looked this up on Amazon and eBay. They wanted uh, used uh, $10 and um, again, $17 uh, brand new. Beautiful book. I hope she likes it. PM me. Oh, Farm of Farm. Of farm. Um, this I may keep. I'm not supposed to have anything. I said, worst case scenario, what I'll do is I'll read it. I'll make notes on uh, some of the crafts because I'm very into this is Martha Stewart, which, by the way, I like Martha now that she went to jail. She just seems more likable. I don't know. I like her more. But this book, you can see. $35 new, 40 Canada, beautiful illustrations. Now look at my junkie house. Okay. 
you know, beautiful crafts that you can do. Paper folding or, you know, quilling, making soap. Martha, you you, you are a mess. You do all this every day. So I may keep this, worst case scenario. I'll keep it for a few months, take notes, and then I'll just eBay it. A dollar I got this for. Well, at any rate, that was my book haul. Um, and it goes to buy more books for the library, so I'm really keen on making sure, you know, I'm not super greedy. But I can pass that up. Don't believe it. <laughs> so, at any rate, I um, hope you guys are good. Staying warm. You like my hair? Like my little Gibson girl hairdo. Ridiculous. Okay, love you. Bye.